Right now, Leon Bibb is going to take you on a trip to a place which is as tasty as they come. Certainly is. In my Ohio, Leon looks at something in Cleveland which is old but also new again, and it is drawing some crowds. All right, you are. You'll want a spoon on this one. I know spoons having been born with one in my mouth. No, not silver, but a long handled one because I found love in an ice cream soda fountain. Ice cream scooped into a glass of soda water and pieces of American history sprinkled on top. Now that's a double dip combination. Let's take a ride in my time machine. We're going back to the 1940s. Cleveland of a different era, far flung from what you know of the 21st century. Still, some vintage scenes are unmistakably familiar. Mass transit, yeah. Most of it trolleys clang clanging along city streets. These are the years of World War II. And in every 40s neighborhood, corner pharmacies, drug stores, Inside our soda fountain counters to which ice cream hungry customers belly up for butter pecan. In our time machine, we revisit the 1940s. We must have missed some of it because soda fountains of the long ago are little by little coming back. They just kind of went away and it was just kind of a time that I wanted to bring back a little bit and help people re-experience. Jeff Moreau owns Sweet Moses, a Cleveland soda fountain. Treats served across the counter. Moreau cherishes the feel of the soda fountain heyday, which ran from the turn of the last century to the 1950s. His sweet Moses centers in on the 40s. Moreau knows by then soda fountains had grown big time from strange beginnings when powdered medicine sold in drugstores went down like, well, unappetized treatment. A pharmacist started to mix those medicines with sweet syrups and soda water to make them more palatable. So enter the soda fountain. From sweets to hide the tastes of a bitter pill to sweets tempting tongues of customers who barked, slip me a soda with a double dip of ice cream. Generations later, Moreau's Sweet Moses had them still bellied to the counter. At least two or three times a week. And sometimes more if I've had a bad day. Named for Moses Cleveland, who settled the city, named in his memory, Sweet Moses is steeped in the 40s. Music played is all 40s. It too keeps that time machine theme going. What was it about the 40s you liked? Um, just, I guess, the music and the um, laid back feel of it. Yeah. During the war years, huh? Sure. You could from, from what I hear. <laughs> so would I, my friend. Through the time machine, we see the way we were when soda fountains cornered the neighborhood crowd and soda water draft arms were jerked by counter workers who were called soda jerks. A time of the movies of Bogart and Bacall and of Hepcat talk. Phrases like, he had a lot of lettuce in his wallet and was willing to spend it because she was a real looker. And she kept a crush on him, so she made with the goo-goo eyes. The 40s, Sweet Moses is all about the way we were. You're still in my time machine, the 1940s. Men in wild ties and snap brim hats. Sweet Moses keeps that theme going with a lot of jive talk. The 1940s, you see. Yeah, ice cream. Sweetheart, but nostalgia too, big boy. Well, Jeff brought in all of this decor from an old fashioned soda shop. Our back bar is over 100 years old. Our marble counter was from a drugstore in Virginia. It's probably from about the 1920s. The stools are from the 1920s. Nostalgia served with scoops of ice cream and splashes of soda. Lunchtime break or a nightcap marking a romantic date. And then come here at the end of the night before we say our good night, before we're married or after we got married. A little hand holding on the side? Yes. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> so drop me off at Sweet Moses, where everything is 40s, sometimes even the vocabulary. Get a gander at the goods while you dig that music rhythmic beat into the bar. Another stop in my Ohio, which is a blast for anybody who likes the lingo of the Hepcat, served with a dish of ice cream. And if you are old enough, you may remember the paper straw. They were popular many years ago, but Sweet Moses keeps that old-time theme going. 1940s, as they said during the 1940s, the place is a killer diller. That means it's good. Doesn't cost you that much lettuce either. Well, you get the idea on that one. For now, I'm gone.